the Ryan family has given Northwestern a $480 million gift, and a large portion of that is supposed to be used to redevelop Ryan Field. Now, you and I went to Ryan Field a couple of years ago to see Ohio State and Northwestern with our buddies from the Westlot Pirates, and the stadium has a, a very gothic feel to it. It is very old school. I enjoyed it immensely. But yes, it could absolutely be updated. They are wanting it to be the most inclusive stadium in the country, so they are going to go above and beyond what the Americans with Disabilities Act uh, requests of stadiums or requires of stadiums. How uh, how did you feel about this? I, I could not imagine a school being gifted half of a billion dollars and uh, you know, not being able to do anything with it. So go ahead. Yeah, I, well, I'm going to say not being able to do anything with it. They're going to do something with it, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, oh, big time. Gonna, yeah. No, I, I, I can't imagine what it would be like to have so much money that you could give away half a billion dollars. True. So that's, that's a different level of, of funds for, for folks like you and me to even think about. Could be big for Northwestern because I do think that's a big part of what happens at Northwestern and, and what, what you know they deal with. I wonder if a stadium renovation – and a redo would affect and change the uh, the the attendance. I, you know, it's possible. I will tell you this: the fact that they have such a state of the art athletic facility right now. The, I mean, the, it's right there on the water. It is unbelievable because they spent a ton of money on that. To pair that with what will effectively be a new stadium, that's a pretty big deal. So I. I Definitely think it could help attendance. It could help out recruiting even more so. Uh, that's it, This seems like such a massive deal, and, and it was just kind of a blurb. So I, I wanted to bring it up because it's, uh, by the way, the Ryan family that, that donated the money, yeah, the same Ryan family that the field is named after. So, <laughs> so it well, kind of yeah, makes sense. Yeah, they, they, own, they own Kellogg's, right? I believe that's correct, yes. So, yeah, big, big, big stuff for another Big Ten school there. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.